if you like this video press the like button and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get notification of our new videos i request you to download the handwritten notes of this topic from the link in the description below and then watch the video till the end so it will be very helpful for you uh, with the notes hello everyone welcome to mbcs.com so this is our second lecture on dermatology section and the topic is layers of epidermis the first lecture was on uh, the cells of epidermis so if you want to check that video out so you can find the link in the description below so let's begin with this topic the, uh, there are five layers of epidermis which are stratum corneum stratum lucidum stratum granulosum stratum spinosum and stratum basal so this layer is the topmost layer as we had discussed in our previous video and this is the deepest layer okay this is the topmost this is the deepest layer and how can you remember these uh, three layers legs l for lucidum g for granulosum s for spinosum okay now coming to another part which is epidermal turnover time and it is also known as skin doubling time epidermal turnover time or skin doubling time so what is epidermal turnover time it is the time taken by keratinocytes to move from stratum basal to the environment or the sloughing of time of uh, a keratinocyte from stratum basal layer okay so just look at this diagram this is stratum basal layer which is the lower most layer of epidermis and what happens the uh, the total turnover time is 56 days is 56 days okay this is 56 days now what happens from stratum basal and this is stratum corneum which is the topmost layer okay so from the stratum basal to the lower part of stratum corneum it takes 14 days keratin sites takes 14 days and from lowermost layer to the uppermost layer the keratin sites takes another 14 days and the slough of time is 28 days from the topmost layer of stratum corneum okay so the total is 56 days 14 days plus 14 days plus 28 days okay now let's begin with this uh, topic which is layer of epidermis the first layer is stratum basal layer so the stratum basal layer is the uh, lowermost layer and it is a single cell layer okay it is a single cell layer and it is highly mitotically active keratinocytes are present in the stratum basal so it can divide very rapidly okay and this is the first layer stratum basal is formed first from all the layers okay now coming to another layer which is stratum spinosum layer this stratum spinosum layer is also known as prickle cell layer okay it has spines which is also known as desmosomes so what is desmosomes desmosome is uh, a protein which is calcium dependent adherent molecules which adheres this is keratinocyte one keratinocyte cell this is another keratinocyte and this this part is desmosome okay it connects uh, both of the keratinocytes from each other so the keratinocyte can maintain the normal anatomy okay so these are uh, of various types like uh, desmoglin desmocolin desmoplakin placoglobin and placophyllin okay now coming to another layer which is stratum granulosum okay so as the name suggests the stratum granulosum it is a granular cell layer so this is a granular cell layer so it has two types of granules number one is 
करेटो हाइलन ग्रेन्यूल एंड सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ ग्रेन्यूल्स विच आर मैमरेन कोटिंग ग्रेन्यूल्स ओके नाउ वॉट हैपन्स दिस करेटो हाइलन ग्रेन्यूल्स हैज प्रो फ्लैगरेन इन इट विच इज़ अ प्रिकर्सर मॉलिक्यूल इट इज़ अ प्रिकर्सर मॉलिक्यूल ओके विच हेल्प्स इन फिलामेंट एग्रीगेशन एंड डिफेक्ट कैन लीड्स टू इक्तीस वलगैरिस इट हेल्प्स इन फिलामेंट एग्रीगेशन ओके नाउ कमिंग टू अनदर टाइप ऑफ ग्रेन्यूल विच इज मेमरी कोटिंग ग्रेन्यूल ओके इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ऑड लैंड बॉडीज ऑल्सो नोन एज ऑड लैंड बॉडीज ओके सो दिस इज लिपिड बेस्ड एंड फॉर्म्स अ प्रोटेक्टिव बैरियर प्रोटेक्टिव बैरियर ओके Now coming to the fourth layer, which is also a special type of layer because it is not present everywhere on the skin. It is a, also known as clear cell layer because it is clear on the microscopy. It is translucent, okay, and it is present only on palm and soles, okay. This is only present on palm and soles. Now coming to stratum corneum layer. The stratum corneal layer is a topmost layer and it has dead keratinocytes so it is also known as dead layer the uh, the shape of the cells here are flat and there is no nucleus and it lacks the mitotic activity in it so it cannot uh, divide and uh, now coming to the diagram this is the diagram to show you some layers as we had discussed that dermis there is dermis and we have epidermis this whole part is epidermis and there are different layers epidermis okay so the uh, lowermost layer is stratum basale uh, one more thing to tell you about is stratum spinosum layer is the thickest layer is the thickest layer among all the layers of epidermis is the thickest layer so as you can see in this diagram the the basal layer is stratum basale this thickest layer is stratum spinosum this layer is like granules so it is stratum granulosum and this is translucent layer which is stratum lucidum and the topmost layer is stratum corneum it lacks nucleus and there are dead cells this sloughs off okay now coming to the histology part so this is the histology of uh, layer of skin we have topmost layer is stratum corneum this is stratum corneum okay because there is no nucleus here there is no nucleus and there is the cells are sloughing off okay the another layer is stratum granulosum stratum spinosum stratum basale this stratum granulosum they are granule type of layer the thickest layer is stratum spinosum and the lowermost layer is stratum basale there is no stratum lucidum in it because uh, it is not uh, the smear of uh, uh, palm and sole the skin of palm and sole so this is about the histology part so this is all for this video please load the notes from the link in the description below thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel thank you